Hi there. Now, while it certainly is a challenge to find the best tools that are worthy of your hard-earned money, it isn't impossible, especially when you have a reliable source like our channel to point you in the right direction and show you the brands you can trust. Now, in preparing this list, we reviewed literally dozens of products and we based our rankings on a number of factors, including the features of the product, value for money, and the reputation of the manufacturer. We even read countless reviews from actual users. If you choose from this list, you can be sure you'll be buying one of the best tools available today. And make sure to check the product links down below in the description. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, let's get started. Working on the uh, on the Eon 615 project was was a lot of fun, and uh, being able to make the the product sound as good as we possibly could make it sound was a challenge, and it was pretty rewarding in the end. What the pattern control aperture does on the Eon 615 product is by pinching in on the sides, it allows that woofer to have. 90 degree coverage, which you, do, you don't get on a 15 inch woofer without an aperture. Being able to, to use a fluted aperture to prevent some of the sound anomalies that can happen if you use like a slot. By using the pattern control aperture that we have on EN615, we're able to, to uh, moderate that pattern on the woofer. So at the crossover frequency, the woofer actually has a 90 by 60 pattern just like the horn does. And what it means is you've got this seamless directivity transition between these two drivers that uh, whether you're on axis, whether you're off axis, you're gonna hear the same thing. You're gonna have intelligibility that you can't get any other way. The waveguide geometry, the uh, image control waveguide that's used on the uh, high frequency driver is the same map that's used on the JBL M2 uh, studio monitor and the other studio monitor products that are coming out of JBL Professional nowadays. And the same results that you get in a studio monitor is the same benefit that it delivers into a portable PA product you can have a portable PA product that sounds really, really good. And as much like a studio monitor as a portable PA product can sound, it does. And, and this is why. Sub adds highly detailed dynamic bass to your TV, movies, and music, highlighting deep, rich sounds that really move you. While other subwoofers shake, rattle, and roll, Sub's face-to-face -face drivers cancel out any vibration. The opening in the middle moves air out of the enclosure, so you won't just hear the difference, you'll feel it, making the most of your other Sonos speakers. Stand it tall, lay it flat, or hide it under the couch. Bottomless bass is all you'll hear. Sonos the home sound system. Hey everybody, it's Phil with Behringer. How are you doing today? Welcome to Music Group TV. I want to talk to you today about the B1200D subwoofer. It's a very hip subwoofer, tons of power. It's a 500 watt class D amplifier is in there and you're gonna get a lot of power. It has all kinds of protections in there, over excursion protection, thermal protection, clipping protection is all built in. So inside the B1200D is a powerful 12 inch long excursion transducer with a high temperature voice coil for super accurate sound and great low end presence. On the back of the B1200D, there's two stereo inputs, two stereo throughs, and two stereo outputs. And on the stereo outputs, they have a high pass capability, so you can actually plug the inputs into the subwoofer and then connect full range speakers to it as well. In order to tune the system completely, you have a tunable bass boost and a phase switch. We have a variable high cut knob that allows you to have great speaker alignment. And there's also a subwoofer level control so you can match the levels between the subs and your full range speakers. 
To wrap up what's on the back panel, you have a power indicator, you have a clip indicator, and you have a signal indicator for perfect monitoring. There's also built-in active stereo crossover that's going to provide high-pass filtered outputs for full-range speakers. On the B1200D, there are ergonomic handles on the sides. So it's very easy to lift and get around the places, so super easy setup. And also on the top, you have an attachment to put a pole in here so that you can actually put your full-range speaker on top of this mounted on a pole. Makes it super easy for setup. So this is the B1200D from Behringer. For more information and media, please feel free to come visit us at Behringer.com. Thanks for watching Music Group TV. Hi, I'm Paul DiComo, I'm Product Development Czar here at Definitive Technology, and we're here today to talk about what some people call passive radiators, but what we call base radiators. And we call them that because that's what they do, they radiate base. Now you may know that most Definitive Technology loudspeakers use base radiators, but you may not know why we use them, you may not be familiar with the technology, how it works, why it works, so we're going to do a demonstration today to show you exactly that, how and why they work, and why they're extremely effective at making really, really good bass. Now in this model, my hand represents the active driver. That's the driver with the voice coil and the magnet, and the amplifier sends current through it and makes it move. The spring here is the air pressure inside the sealed enclosure, and the light bulb is the bass radiator. Now I'm going to move my hand at a high frequency and let's see what happens. All right, moving at a high frequency. Well, there's a little jiggling here because this is, you know, an imperfect model, but basically that base radiator doesn't move much at all. Now here I've lowered the frequency. Now we're in the base region and look what's happening. A very small amount of movement of my hand produces a tremendous amount of movement on the part of the light bulb. All right, see that all happening? It'll go back to the high frequency, it doesn't move much. Lower frequency moves a ton. All right, so what this means is that we've got a very highly efficient acoustical system where a very small amount of energy in the active driver produces a tremendous amount of excursion or movement in the base radiator. So that's the technology behind base radiators. They give you better base, more efficiently with lower distortion. And of course, that's a great thing. And you're going to find them in Definitive Technology loudspeakers. Thanks for watching.